Finally, after almost a decade, Apple adds a vital audio feature to Final Cut Pro 10. So what is it? How will you use it? And why is it so much better than before? Learn audio online with Audio Masterclass. AudioMasterclass.com I've been using Final Cut Pro since version 2, and I successfully navigated the huge transition from version 7 to version 10. There was no 8 or 9. But when Final Cut Pro 10 first appeared in 2011, it was quirky, buggy, and lacked a number of significant features. That's why when version 10 came out, I was able to sell my license for version 7 for almost as much as I'd paid for it. But over the years, Final Cut Pro 10 has become smoother, less quirky, if not entirely quirk-free, and has acquired nearly all the features a video editor would want. The clue is in the word. Video. Video, by definition, is not audio. And handling audio in Final Cut Pro 10 is nowhere near as smooth an experience as doing the audio edit in your favourite digital audio workstation. But I've persisted, and now I do all my audio editing for these videos in Final Cut Pro 10. Do I enjoy it? No. Does it get the job done? Well, yes, I suppose it does. But there has been one feature that has been considered essential in digital audio workstation software ever since the door was invented. Crossfades. Answer this question for me. When you're editing or mixing in your digital audio workstation software, how often do you not need to use a crossfade? I'm guessing your answer is never. Audio specialists use crossfades all the time. To smooth over edits, get rid of clicks, transition from one clip to another, crossfade from one song to another. Suppose your favourite door dropped crossfades from its feature list. I would switch to a different software. It's that important. So back to Final Cut Pro 10. Yes, it has had audio fades for some time. And you could manually overlap clips, fade out one and fade in the other. But really, should it have to be that way? Well now, at least in Final Cut Pro 10.4.9, we have proper audio crossfades. I could talk some more, but let me demonstrate instead. So here I have two music tracks, and I'm going to crossfade from one to the other. Let's play them around 30 seconds of each. You can ignore the sunflower. Obviously, in video editing software, I'm going to need an image to make things realistic. It isn't going to change or do anything. What I'll do now is take a clip from each track and butt them together. I could worry about timing and musical meter, but in this case, I won't. It'll make it easier to hear how well Final Cut Pro 10 handles the crossfade. This is what we have without fading or crossfading. You can hear that there's an abrupt start, an abrupt end, and an abrupt edit in the middle. Clearly, all of this needs to be fixed. Let's start with the start. I'll use Final Cut Pro 10's new audio features to add a fade in. So far, so good. Now let's go to the end and add a fade out. And now to what you've come here for, a crossfade between the two clips. Wow, it works! I've no complaints. 
Well, maybe just one. I can make fades and crossfades, but how can I set their duration? This is how I would do it in Pro Tools. How easy is that? And it's just as easy in every digital audio workstation I know of. I can just sweep the cursor over as long a duration as I want, and in Pro Tools, press the F key. Well, in Final Cut Pro 10, it's not quite so easy. Before you make your crossfade, what you need to do is to decide how long you want it to be. Then go to the Preferences window, then go to Editing, where you can set the default fade and crossfade durations. Easy, or not quite as easy, as the door. It's a bit of a palaver, but it can be done. Unfortunately, it doesn't change the duration of any crossfades you've made already. If you want to change the duration of a crossfade after you've made it, then you can do it like this. I'll play the original crossfade, then stretch out one of the clips so that we can see both of them overlapping. Then I can adjust the fade times of each clip asymmetrically if I want. To be honest, that's the way you would have done it before 10.4.9. Anyway, thank heavens, Final Cut Pro 10 now has easy audio crossfades. Let's listen to my crossfade again. I'm David Meller, Course Director of Audio Masterclass. Thank you for listening.